Now let's discuss the issue further with Michael Maloof, a former senior security policy analyst at the Pentagon. Thanks for joining us today, sir. What could another American intervention mean for Iraq? Well, American intervention uh, will have to be very, very selective. And uh, it's, and it's almost going to be, uh, it could almost be inevitable because of uh, the intentions of uh, ISIS. ISIS, uh, the, the Islamic State of Iraq and, and Syria is actually the Islamic State of, uh, of uh, Iraq and the Sham. The Sham is greater Syria. Greater Syria incorporates all of, of the uh, Levant uh, and into Jordan. And uh, there's some indication that uh, if they can sweep through Iraq, they're going to go into uh, Jordan, and you're going to have spinoffs uh, uh, that would be created. So it's a major policy decision now on whether or not there's going to be any U.S. intervention at this point to try and, and uh, trip them up and uh, cause them to uh, and, and try to stymie their, uh, their forward progress, which is basically a blitzkrieg. It's, uh, it's uh, un unheard of these days. So uh, there's some weighty decisions that are going to have to be made, but in order to do that, the intelligence has got to be pinpoint accurate, and you've got to find them. I mean, I, I've noticed the pictures of them traveling in caravans in the open, and you wonder, well, wh why hasn't anyone done anything about it? But, uh, they, but at the same time, they've got uh, some very smart uh, uh, military uh, planners and operators there, and, uh, and they can adjust. So it, they can make it much more difficult for us to stop them uh, or, or, yeah. or anybody to stop them. And certainly the Iraqi government's having a hard time. Yeah, and we're also hearing increasingly about the U.S. mulling air attacks. But U.S. military intelligence is reportedly unable to pinpoint these clear targets. Is air power going to be useful in this case? It can be because these guys travel over widespread areas. They're, they're, uh, they're on the move, but once they get into a particular area, it's going to be extraordinarily difficult to flesh them out because then they're mingling in with uh, uh, the civilian population, and that makes it far more difficult, which inevitably means that uh, you would have to put have boots on the ground, and the U.S. isn't going to be doing that. So it's going to be up to the Iraqi government to uh, use, put those boots in, in the area on the ground and uh, certainly the United States could send in uh, advisors and trainers, and uh, that's a possibility as well. You know, is this conflict in any way really a reaction to the Maliki government's policies, do you believe, sir? I think it's part and parcel, yeah. I, it, it certainly, ISIS in Iraq right now is um, not, not, not just foreign fighters and, and what have you. It, a lot of it are some old Saddam Hussein uh, uh, groups, uh, certainly people who worked for him, who are all Sunnis and uh, and who joined on to ISIS. There are a lot of uh, uh, a lot of elements and a lot of uh, Islamic groups that are joining uh, ISIS inside Iraq, and and uh, so and so they're going to be trying to carve out for their own purposes. And of course, uh, Al Maliki, the Prime Minister, who's Shia is uh, resisting any efforts to change his government to try to uh, make the uh, bring in this bring in more sunnis uh, into the into the government and make it more representative but it may be uh, too little too late already former security policy analyst at the pentagon michael maloof we thank you for your time today sir